Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. Caps or hats are not only great for the medical profession, but for us personally. If we need to do some painting, this definitely saves the hair. And if we're having a bad hair day, this definitely saves us time. This quick and easy pattern will take two fat quarters, or you can get half a yard of fabric. Even a half a meter of fabric will be fine. You will need one strip of fabric for the ties and an eight inch piece of elastic. And that's all you're going to need. There are no special patterns. You're gonna be able to do this on your own. We will need two fat quarters or a half a yard of fabric. A fat quarter is approximately 18 inches by 22 inches. If yours is a little bit more, then that's fine. The next piece we're going to need is a two and a half inch strip of fabric. So I have two and a half inches by that 45 inch length. So I do have my selvages on the end. And an eight inch piece of elastic. Fold the fabric in half and cut. Leave the selvages on and fold the fabric together right sides. Stitch the little corner down and then stitch all the way down. So you're going to be making a big tube. You can use a quarter inch seam allowance, even an eighth inch seam allowance. So I've backstitched, closed off that seam and went all the way down and then clip those two little corners. It'll just save some bulk right here in this corner. Just turn that whole tube right side out and press. We now have two long strips of fabric and each end has an opening. Take the elastic, just slide it in just a little bit and do a row of stitching to anchor that down. And then take the other end of the elastic and put it on the other side. You don't need to worry about finishing the edges. If you have the selvages, that'll be fine. If not, it still will be fine. So you'll be able to use leftover binding pieces. Anywhere between a two and a three inch strip of fabric to start with is all we're going to need. We do not need to worry if these edges are finished because they're going to be inside the cap. This is all we need for the ties and the back elastic. These two fat quarters are all you're going to need to make the cap and you won't need a pattern. Match up the fabric so the right sides are touching. Be sure it's pressed. With those two pieces facing each other, trim off the edges so they're straight you want to trim off as little as possible. Our first row of stitching is going to go along one of these long edges, which will be approximately 22 inches. This first stitched edge is going to be the top of the hat, where it's along your forehead. So if you have directional fabric, keep that in mind. Mark over an inch and a half on both sides. And it won't matter what the center is. We need to stitch from this inch and a half over a little bit, back stitch, leave an opening and continue stitching to this mark. So we're having two rows of stitching and we're gonna leave these flaps open and stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. This cap is going to be a reversible cap. And that little piece that we didn't stitch in the top is where we're going to turn this right side out. And that inch and a half that we've left open on the edge will be a casing stitch. With this top stitching done, we're going to be able to shape the cap. Fold those two layers together so we're right in half. So we have the fold and that stitching along the top. In this one corner, we need to cut out a curve. And by having all the layers together, we know that all four sides are going to be the same. You won't need a pattern. You're just going to be able to cut a curve. You can start anywhere to six or seven inches up at the top and just curve down. And a gentle curve is all we're going to need. This is the entire pattern. We can open this back up. So now we have this curved shape along the bottom. The stitching's still up at the top. So a quarter inch starting right up at that top go all the way around, coming right off the end. And I would recommend using small stitches 
it's easier to turn corners with small stitches than with large stitches. You can also use a serger and serge this edge. Once we have that row of stitching done, press it flat. Through this opening, we can turn this right side out. And I like to have that hole big enough that I can put my hand in and smooth out all of those edges. And we don't have to worry about those holes in the corner. We're going to be able to use them next. And now we can press that one more time. As you press this flat, take that opening where you turned it right side out and fold over that seam allowance. This you're going to stitch after. But having it pressed is just going to make it easier. And I still have my holes on each side. The tie in the elastic is going to fit in a casing. The casing is going to be made by stitching over three quarters of an inch, start from the top seam all the way round up to that next top seam. So you're doing a big U and it's going to be three quarters of an inch all the way around. And to speed up stitching this line, just find a mark on your sewing machine bed and stitch. It doesn't have to be exact. We now have the top with these two holes in them and we're going to put in the ties and the elastic through that hole. If you have a flexible bobkin, this is a great time to use them. If not, you can always use the trusty old safety pin. Whatever you're doing, make sure that that is going to stay until you get to the other side. The last thing you want to do is have to redo it. So thread that entire piece all the way through. So the tie is going to go through, then the elastic, and then the tie. You're going to end up with the one end coming out of the one side, and the second end coming out of the next. So you end up with just the elastic in between. So take that end and just tuck it inside and fold that seam allowance back. So here's that elastic attached on. Just tuck it in. You want to make sure that that's in enough that it's going to secure. We will be top stitching hereafter. The pin is in the one side. Just keep pulling that tie out. So all of the elastic is coming into the back. And just keep pulling until you see the next portion of the elastic. Just tuck that in and pin. So that curved part is all along this edge. And those two ties are on each side. That flat part with that little opening that we turned right side out is up at the top. Pull the elastic so it's out of the way. Back stitch along this edge. Continue stitching all the way along. And eventually you're going to be able to close off that opening. Keep stitching all the way. And back stitch on the second side. And we are done. It sort of looks like an old-fashioned bonnet, but we can wear it with the one side out or the second side out. We can also add a cuff. Let me show you. The first way we can wear it is with no cuff. So we're going to take that elastic piece and put it to the back of our neck. And that's how it's going to go on. You can just take your hair and wrap it and stick it so it's inside this elastic. And take those ties and tie it to the back. You can tie a bow or you can have it come up and hold your ponytail. The second way we can wear it is after we've tucked our hair up inside, tie it and then bring these ties around to the front. And we can tie it right up at the front. We can also add a cuff. We're going to put it on the same way and it won't matter if we're doing one side or the other. So we're just going to take that fabric and fold it. So we end up with a cuff and tuck the hair in. Same thing towards the back. We're going to tie or have it come up to the top. And then if we wear glasses, we can put them on so we can see what we're doing. We can also take two medium-sized buttons and sew them 
to the back of our ears. And that way the elastic for the masks can go around the buttons and not around our ears. If you're making it for yourself, you'll be able to adjust these. If you're giving them away, put the buttons with them so they can sew them on themselves and have those buttons fit exactly right for their face shape. So not only is it very practical, we're going to be able to keep our hair out of our face, keep our hair clean, and if we're having a bad hair day, no one will be the wiser. The pattern is very easy. We just need to cut that one curve off and the rest is straight stitching. That last elastic with the tie does all the magic. This video is free for you to use. You can repost it to groups that are trying to make some of these caps. I do hope the simplicity of this pattern speeds up your sewing. The pattern is good for short hair or long hair, and depending on the fabric, it can go for either male or female. So have some fun and make some caps. And thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.